Man said, man said, damn, Unk's got beef with everyone. But I beef everyone. Everybody. Everywhere I go, I get into problems with people. Because I have a standard. And I'm willing to enforce my views, you know, my viewpoints regarding my standard. So today, I went to a, um, a man's house today. And he started smoking a cigarette. I said, sorry, I don't smoke. Do you mind waiting until I finish? Like, just 20 minutes. He's like, you can't tell me what to do in my house. Bug he told me to bugger off. I didn't leave the property. I just walked out of the room and just carried on testing elsewhere. If I don't smoke, you got to respect me. You know what I mean? It's only for 20 minutes. Are you that much of an addict that you can't wait 20 minutes? I've had it plenty of times. Not, not plenty of times, but I had it a lot, like... So 95% of the tenants, when they smoke, if I ask them to stop smoking, they'll say, oh, sorry, I didn't even realise and put it out. Cool. The other two, the other 3%, they might be like, yeah, all right, then cool. They'll have a little bit of issue. And then the other, whatever remaining, 2 or 3%, whatever, and that, they'll be like, no, no, you're not telling me what to do in my house. Fam, get off your ego. Like, fam, get off your high horse blood. Like, stop having an ego, fam. You know, just... Respect people that are in your house. Like, it doesn't matter whose house it is, you've got to respect everyone. Imagine, yeah, like, they, I, I went to some English people's house and they don't like Muslims and I'm Muslim. Blood, I don't give a fuck what your opinions on are, um, are on Islam or whatever. If I'm Muslim and I'm in your house, you're English. If I'm Muslim, don't talk, don't talk disrespectfully about Muslims. I'm Muslim. It doesn't matter. I don't care if it's your house. You've got to learn to respect people. This is my house. I pay the mortgage. I run things and it is blood club. At my mum's house, we don't swear around my little sister. Okay? We don't swear around my little sister. That's at my mum's house. But because I have so much respect for my little 12-year-old sister, even if she comes to this house where I pay the mortgage, I run things here, no one told me nothing, I'm not going to swear in front of my little sister. You see, respect is non-geographical. It doesn't matter. I don't care where we are. We could be at my mum's house. We could be at my family member's house. We're going to be on planet Ras Clark Mars. I'm not swearing around my little sister. I'm going to respect my little sister's presence. She don't need to be hearing swear words and that. Now, my little sister might be jumping up and down on the bus swearing. Hey, she could do what she wants yeah, in her spare time. But she's not swearing in front of us. We're definitely, well, we're not swearing in front of her and she definitely ain't swearing in front of us. So respect is non-geographical. It, it doesn't matter whose house it is. Like, what sort of mentality is that? So because it's your house, you can go around disrespecting people or whatever. Oh, man, that's foolishness.